Hello, I'm John Darnell, author of the new book, Devil House, which I wanted to show you the galley. It's very exciting to have galleys. Um, uh, the, the, uh, embossed, or is it debossed? I forget. Uh, thank you, it's really cool. Um, I'm sitting here signing what are called the tip-in sheets for the pre-order. If you pre-order the book, which you can do at mountain-goats.com, it's right there on the front page, uh, then you get a copy that I have signed thusly. Sometimes, for reasons that will become clear to you later, I eliminate the fourth sword and the seventh one, like this. And other times, though very rarely, I should be clear about this, uh, but other times I, I write cryptic little messages. <laughs> so, but I wanted to, I'm getting really excited, the other book comes out uh, soon, uh, early next year, and, uh, and I wanted to, to read you a little bit, because I had been keeping this one to myself for a long time. The third section is made up of a bunch of uh, short uh, sort of uh, uh, vignettes that all fit together, and so I don't think this really requires any further context. Um, and it's subheaded lodged. In later years, establishing the whereabouts of a person would be a lot easier. Cell phone records, browser histories. If you needed something more specific, you might seek a special warrant compelling an ISP to release their data, but after 2002, resistance on that front was pretty weak. You could snoop in broad daylight without your target ever even knowing you'd been under surveillance. In any case, though, then or now, you'd try to find probable cause, or something you could frame as probable cause, and to get that, in the absence of any direct evidence, you'd have needed a previous record, something you'd point to that backed up your suspicions. As of the afternoon of November 1st, 1986, there were no crimes on record involving any of the people who'd been spending their spare time and sometimes sleeping inside the building formerly known as Monster Adult X. If you are questioned as to your whereabouts on a given day, you should immediately ask if you are being arrested. If you're not being arrested, you should invoke your right to remain silent. What you were doing with your time on a given day is nobody's business but yours. But I want to state for the record that Derek Hall spent the afternoon and the evening of November 1st, 1986, at home with his parents, both of whom can account for his presence in the house at dinner and aver that they all dined at the table together that night. Turkey sandwiches with gravy, Derek had seconds. More importantly, a few days later, neither Bill Hall nor his wife Diane allowed the detectives who'd arrived unannounced on their doorstep to have a word with their son. I don't know anything about any of this, but my son is not available for anything without a lawyer, and neither am I. You have my phone number, Bill Hall said, in as amiable a tone of voice as he could stand to fame while closing the door. Have a nice day. And I now return to my tipping sheets.